Anybody want to be what the Lord is? Amen. Amen. We want him to be with us, right? Amen. We know he's left a comforter for us. And the likes of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That leads and guides us. Brings all things back unto our remembrance. Thank God for that. Amen. Then, then, he said, that, amen, we're getting ready. Yeah. Amen. We want to be where he is, but until we get there, we're getting ready. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. See, that's exciting to me. I don't know about you. Yeah. Amen. But I love God. I don't know about you, but God's been good to me. Yeah. Has God been good to anybody else? Amen. Yeah. I said, has God been good to you? It's preaching time. Amen. We ask that you will stand and receive this man of God as he comes in his own way. Come to us in the likes of our own beloved Pastor Kenneth Lovelace. Amen. I will allow him to come in his own way, but I want y'all to say to him, Pastor Lovelace, Pastor Lovelace. We need a word. We need a word. We want to hear. We want to hear what God, what God has said to you to share. Amen.
decrease that thou might increase. Yes, sir. That they might not see me, but they might see the Christ that lives in me. Father God, we thank you today. We thank you right now, Father. Lord God, in the name of your Son Jesus, we give thanks. Thank God and amen. Amen. I want to be where you are. Yes, sir. I want to be where you are. Yes, Lord. Some places that you want to go, it's going to take some struggle yes, to get to where you want to be. Yes. And I've also found out in life that everybody don't want to make the struggle. Say that, say that. But I want to encourage you today. The good thing about dealing with the struggle is that you're not in the struggle alone. Say that, say that. Is that we do have a God that is on our side. Amen. Amen. We give honor today to our God who is the head of my life. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. We give honor to the pastor. Bless you. Amen. Who is doing an awesome job. Amen. Amen. Come on, give God. A, give him a hand praise. Amen. 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 To the things of God. Amen. 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 And to all of these other preachers that are here. Amen. We thank Amen. God for you. Amen. Amen. And to these great officers that we have at these at this church and to the ushers that hold the door and the choir that sings in the law. We give honor and praise to each of you, God's children. Amen. I just feel all right today. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I feel all right. Amen. If you would go with me to Psalms 27. Amen. I thank God for my earthly father. Amen. Amen. He can be to lovely singing. Amen. Amen. Without him, I would not have been here. <laughs> Amen. I thank God he didn't stop with nine. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It's good to go a little further every night of me. Yes. <laughs> Psalms 27. We're going to start at verse 1. Amen. Psalms 27. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war may rise against me. In this, I will be confident. Yes, One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek. Yes, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Yes, sir. To behold the beauty of the Lord. Amen. And to inquire in his temple. Yes, sir. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, yes, in the secret place of his tabernacle, yes, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Amen, amen. I would like to talk about just for a little while. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Lord is my light and my salvation. 
Now David is the writer of the song. Some think David penned this song before his coming to the throne. When he was in the midst of his troubles. If this is accurate, it indicates that David authored the song when King Saul, filled with jealousy and rage, was pursuing him. Others believe it was the occasion of the death of his parents. But the Jews believe he penned it when he was old. When Abishai came to his aid and helped him kill the Philistine giant by the name of Ishbenah. David's men decided that he should never venture his life again in battle. Lest he should quench the light of Israel. David says in Psalms 27, the Lord is my light. He knew that he was a dealer himself. He shone as the moon does with a borrowed light. What light God darted upon David reflected upon Israel. Huh? David had fears and troubles. Even today, we're no different than David. We experience fears and troubles every day of our lives. My brothers and sisters, when we look at the ISIS crisis, how these terrorists have become so powerful so quickly and how they target the United States wanting to make people live in fear. But we know that God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but of power. Huh? Some fear of the Ebola virus that has made its way from the depths of Africa to Texas. The individual that was infected by the virus has died. But the people he and his family came in contact with are in fear for their very lives. Oh yes, my brothers and sisters, there's something about fear. Hmm? Yeah. Many people fear retirement. Well, they fear it and they would say, I have a wonder if I have enough funds. I've worked my whole life. Now what am I going to do now? Mm, some people fear being hurt or betrayed by someone they trusted or loved. Huh? In fear, living their lives. But David lets us know that we that believe and trust in God, huh, we can trust Him in all that we go through. Yes, mm -hmm. To trust God. First, you have to have a relationship with God. That's going to be my first point. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. David had something personal with God. You know, if somebody can tell you what God has done for them, but when you know for yourself what God has done for you, you become a living testimony. David said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Hmm? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? David said, the Lord is my light and salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. Hmm. He's confident. Yeah. He's confident. He, he's come confident in the fact that he had some experiences with God. Huh? Yeah. His, his, his confidence is based on what God has did for him and is doing for him in the present. Ah, huh? yeah. uh, yes, my brothers and sisters. David had to put God to the test yes, in many trying situations. But he never found God wanting. Mm -hmm. When David was a young shepherd boy, uh, oh, man. Mm -hmm. When he was a young shepherd boy, he had to rescue his father's sheep from a lion and a bear. Early in his life, he had experienced God's presence with him. When he stood before Saul asking to go out and meet the lion, he says in 1 Samuel chapter 17, beginning at verse 34, your servant used to keep his father's sheep. He's talking to Saul. And when a lion Came and took a lamb out of the flock. 
I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard and struck and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and bear. David was not afraid, huh? And when he stood before Goliath, he didn't stand before him in Saul's armor. Because Saul's armor was too heavy. It was too big. He, he didn't feel comfortable with Saul's army. With Saul's armor. But David went before Goliath. When he stood before him, he said, This day, the Lord will deliver you into my hand. And I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day, Listen, he's talking bold for a young lad, huh? Yeah, yeah. This day I will give the carcass of the Philistines to the birds of the air yeah. and the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know wow. that there is a God in Israel. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. David goes on down in verse 50. Uh -huh. So David prevailed over the Philistines yeah. with a sling and a stone. Yes. Yeah. And struck the Philistine and killed him. Oh, look at the power of God. Giant huh? twice his size. But David had a big faith in the God that he served. Huh? Yes, sir. Just like the sons. We have to face our fears and troubles. Many of our fears and troubles have the ferociousness of a lion. Are back. Yes, sir. And the power and size of a giant. Yes, sir. But we have to face it. Yeah. And you know what your fears are. People know what they fear and what their struggles are. But thanks be to God. Yes, sir. We don't have to face them on our own. Because yeah. uh, we have a God on our side. Can I get a witness? <laughs> we have a God. Never sleeps nor slumber. He can watch all the nations at one time. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. My brothers and sisters. David said in Psalms 34 and 4, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Yeah. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, God is that light that will show you the way yeah. if you're in doubt. Mm. Yeah. Psalms 119 and 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. He'll give you comfort and joy in the midst of your sorrows. Huh? Anybody ever tried him in the midst of your sorrows? He lets me know that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Oh, uh, yes, it is God. Yeah. That shines into the darkness of our souls, our minds, and enlightens us yeah. to see His truth. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, in Psalms 18 and 28, yeah. for Thou will light my candle. Huh? Yeah. The Lord, my God, will enlighten my darkness. God reveals to me in their lostness, yeah. huh? And lights the lamp of the spirit in their innermost being. Huh? He can impart newness of life. If a man wants a relationship with God, all he has to do is believe on his son Jesus Christ. Huh? The scripture says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold all things are become new. Ah, oh, yes, my brothers and sisters. But we just need to put a little trust in the master. It is in the light of Jesus Christ that we have hope. Because he is our salvation. He has saved us from a burning hell. We can rejoice, saints, because we're safe in the arms of Jesus. Jesus is our redeemer. David knew God as a deliverer in a time of trouble and fear. He goes on to say he's the strength of my life. David refers to God as a place of shelter and protection. When the storms of life are raging, 
and you're under attack by your enemies, yeah. God will be your fortress, oh, yeah. God, your stronghold, our refuge. Yeah. You can steal away yeah. in Jesus. Amen. You know, the storms come through the other night. Yeah. The storms came through, and I could, me and Alice was walking through the kitchen, and we heard that wind blow so strong, and the leaves sound like they was just up against the house. We made our way to the closet. Yeah. But see, I'd already made some preparations on, with my secret closet, huh? Before we got to the closet, huh? And I was in God's fortress, and I just knew God was able to keep me when the storm on the outside was raging. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Psalms 46 and 1 say, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in a time of trouble. Secondly, my brothers and sisters, the results of your relationship is confidence in God. David didn't have to worry about the haters. We all have some haters, amen? Some enemies that don't us to succeed in doing the things of God. Well, yeah. He says, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble in fail. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this I will be confident. Huh? Yeah. David simply looked back yeah. over his life huh? and seen all that God had protected him from his enemies. He'd seen all the mountains that God had brought him over, all the valleys that God had carried him through. David said, I know the Lord is. Yes, sir. Yeah. My shepherd. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes, he could see what God had done time and time again. God had stepped in and delivered him. Can anybody be a witness to that? Have God ever stepped in to your situation and delivered you from the jaws of the lion? From the jaws of the bear, from the giants in your life? You see, my brothers and sisters, we can say the same thing if we just take a look back. Yeah. Over our lives. Yeah. <laughs> but we all ain't been all the way, all the time, Sunday school goers. Yes. We always haven't been who we are right now. Yes. But God has kept us. Yes. And even more so now that we have came to Him. Amen? Yes. God has delivered us yes. from cobwebs. Yes. Yes. And you don't know how you made it out of life. Don't say that. But you made it out without a scratch on yeah. mm. yeah. How you were struggling with a stronghold in your life. Well, that stronghold may have been alcohol. Yeah. It may have been drugs had a stronghold on you. You may have been a, a man chaser or a woman chaser, but God stepped in. Yeah. One day you just got tired and said, Lord, here I am. Fix me, Jesus. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And God. Stepped in. Hmm? May have been some people on your job and talking you down and talking about you, putting your name out there on the four corners of the wind, trying to push you down, but God steady exalting you. When God exalts you, can't nobody bring you down. They can't understand that. Huh? All their tricks ain't work. Hmm? Oh, yes. My brothers and sisters, it made that you have been sick. And God stepped in and healed you. You know, you can look back and say, thank you for what you've done for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, in each situation yeah. in the life of God, God makes the difference. Yes, sir. Sometimes in life, your enemies are the majority and you are the minority. Yeah. David tells us to be confident. Yeah. We serve a faithful God. Yes, sir. When it seems like things don't look good and that all hope is gone. Say to yourself, Jesus is the light that shineth in me and stir up the gift that is within me. I heard one songwriter say, sometimes I have to encourage myself in the Lord. Knowing that God will show up when you call him. He'll show up when you need it. He'll show up on time. Can I get a witness this morning? David. David. David had to encourage himself when the Amalekites had invaded Ziglag, taken the women and children captive, 
and burned the city. They had even taken David's two wives. First yes. Samuel chapter 30, verse 6. David was greatly distressed. Uh -huh. For the people spake of stoning him, because the souls of all the people was grieved. Yes. Every man for his son and for his daughter. Yes. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Yeah. David prayed to God. Yeah. You know, when you want to encourage yourself in the Lord, the best thing to start out is with prayer. Yeah. Talking to God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. David prayed to God and God told him to pursue the Amalekites. Yeah. That's not how the story ends, but they, they recovered all that had been taken. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Boy, that's God. Yeah. God can keep you even when you're in the hands of your enemies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to encourage ourselves in the word of the Lord. The word, the word of God is our weapon against spiritual foes. It is through the word of God that strongholds in our lives are broken. Yeah. It is through the word of God that you can break every chain yes. that's holding you back. I don't care what it is. Uh, God's word can deliver you out of the midst of it. There's power in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. And finally, David simply lets us know, I want to be where you are. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek out, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. David wasn't like so many people today. They just want one hour of power. A few minutes of being in his presence in the sanctuary. Or just to be a Sunday worshiper. A lot of folks, they don't bother me Monday through Saturday. I got to do my own thing. But on Sunday, you can expect me. You'll expect me for that hour of power. Now, I don't want to get there too early because I really don't want to change what I'm doing. Oh, oh my brothers and sisters, but David, David thought that being in the presence of God is the most important thing in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He longed to be in the sanctuary. Huh? He wanted to be wherever God was. Huh? He was a man after God's own heart. We got to think about this thing now. He wanted to be in the presence of God. Huh? This thing, the sanctuary is where the Spirit of God is supposed to dwell. And the Spirit dwells and we come here to commune and worship God. Huh? Yes, when you desire to be in God's presence all day, every day, that means you want to be obedient to the will of God. Amen? Yeah. David wanted to behold our gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. What is the beauty of the Lord? Scripture reveals that God's beauty is His holiness. Amen. First Chronicles 16 and 29 says, Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Huh? I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord in the presence of God that joy and peace, huh? unspeakable joy. If you say, you're a Christian. And you don't have any love for God's house. Nor, nor any passion uh, to be there. There's something wrong with your belief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many are able to go to church. But will only go when they feel the light. But David was far. He couldn't make it to the tabernacle. Yeah. Because... Uh -huh. He was a fugitive yeah. on the run in the mountains yes, sir. of Judea. Yeah. But in his mind and in his soul, yeah. 
In his spirit and his eye, he was in the house of the Lord. It was the custom in the medieval times for a man under the active displeasure of a king for a lord to flee to the nearest church for sanctuary. The custom had its roots in the Old Testament times when cities of refuge were set up into which the fugitive could flee there. None of them could shelter David. Do you hear me? They couldn't shelter David from Saul. So he sought sanctuary in the house of God. with God. <laughs> 
we see that there is not the comedy and there is more room. We want to thank you for being so patient with each and every one of us. We know that God is in the blessing business. And, amen, God has given us a light of salvation. His name is Jesus. We thank you for being patient again and pray that you would witness to somebody. Tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Because I guarantee if you tell somebody, amen, somebody will hear what thus said the Lord. Because I'm going to tell you, you're going to need him for yourself. One day, amen. Everybody going to need the Lord. Amen. I know this past love is one of the job, one of the job, one of the job. Amen. I'm going to say this. You know we can come in the house of the Lord tired, sleeping, amen, not excited about the goodness of God. But you know the preacher preached his heart out, didn't he? Didn't he preach his heart out, amen? Come on now, y'all act like y'all don't even know he preached. He preached his heart out. And he shared with us the unadulterated gospel. Some of us don't understand. We're more excited at a football game. Breaks the elements, amen. amen. Yeah, I saw them raise backs. <laughs> Boy, they sorry. Now, I'm the first to say it. They are some sorry guys. They need a black quarterback and a black coach. I can tell you right now. They know, y'all know they need it, but y'all ain't gonna say it. Yeah, just keep looking at them. Keep watching them. Turning your TV on, looking at them. Sunday. I mean, sad after sad. They out there. I just don't even want to think about it. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. We got someone greater to look at. We got someone more impressive to look at. We got somebody that will come through for you. Won't just leave you hanging. Amen. And his name is Jesus. I ain't got time for a Razorback. Amen. Only time a Razorback look good to me is on a barbecue bar. Amen. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. We need Jesus. And we need to be excited about him. Amen. I don't know about you, but Jesus woke you up this morning. Now and forever, let us all say together. Oh. 